Good morning. I was all ready to come on here and I realized that I had just washed all my favorite brushes this morning so I had to run, run and get them. So I'll wait for a minute till everybody comes on. Happy Wednesday. Hi Sandy, how are you? Good morning. So I was just trying to decide what to paint this morning. I think I'm gonna do a bluebird. I found a, a different photo that I haven't done. Hi Ellen, how are you? Ellen said she was gonna be here today. Hi Ellen Core, how are you? <clears throat> Hi Watson for me. Good morning. Is everybody ready with your coffee or your tea? Does anybody paint while I'm painting and just listen to me in the background? <clears throat> okay, so let me turn this around. So I'm going to paint that sweet blue bird. Nancy, you're up. Hi, Jackie. Good morning, everybody. Mm, I'm a little better situated. Coffee cats and Kim. I love it. Oh, my cats. My cats aren't down here right now. I should paint a cat one of these mornings, shouldn't I? Or a dog. Well, that would be fun. I have a few commissions I need to do, too. Um, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, I have my transparent stuff here. My, my uh, clear painting medium. From Zest It, and I actually got this other stuff last week to try. I don't know if they just sent it to me or if I bought it, but it's clear glazing medium. So, like for detail work and glazing, which I don't do a lot of, more because of patience than anything else. But um, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? I was itching a little bit too to do something with um, gold leaf. You think any of you guys think that would be fun if I did? Played around with gold leaf one of these mornings. The hard thing is you have to like do a phase and let it dry. And I actually thought about it in the middle of the night and I thought, well, I'd have to have all the stages kind of ready to show you. So I could do that one morning because I've been itching to do something different. I'm just not sure what it's going to be. A bird is so sweet, isn't it? I haven't, I don't think I've done a bird on here. Terrible thing is I could paint the same thing 12 times and I forget that I just painted it. It's like a whole fresh new experience. It's crazy, right? It sounds crazy. So, and then I was going to do it smaller and I thought, ah, let's just go big with it. Why go small today? Is there any reason for that? Mm. So I've been like truly knee deep in trying to decide what to do about making an online course. I don't know why it's been so challenging for me. Well, I do know why it's time is the challenge for me, but I really want to do it. And there's like an online course that I can take that helps you through the steps of creating it. And I have to decide by today if I'm going to do it or not. I think it would help me. <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, go get your coffee, Nancy. Um, okay. All right. So, um, all right. I have to, that nose is way too long right there, isn't it? Yes. So, let me get some of this color in here. I've also been working on something for, for Jerry's Artorama. They wanted to have me like be like a feature on their website with, with oil paint colors and stuff, which is really fun and would be cool. But they want me to use, you know, the Charvin paints. And I love the Charvin paints, but I'm having a hard time not using any of my other paints that I love. It's crazy when you're used to doing something a certain way, how hard it is to switch things. Good. Good morning. 
Hi, Karen from Vancouver. Hi, Jennifer. Um, yeah, anyway. Oh, I love that, like, turquoise kind of color in there. So I got to pay attention to holding on to that, too. So, yeah, I was saying I have trouble switching things up sometimes. But I know it's good to do that, so I will figure it out. <clears throat> I hear my daughter upstairs getting her, packing her lunch for school. She's a cross-country meet today. She's <clears throat> doing great in cross-country, so we have that this afternoon. Yeah, look for me at Jerry's. Well, I have to send my stuff in. I keep playing around and not being sure what I want to do, but I did a painting yesterday, and I was happy with it, so I think I'm going to send that in. So I've been busy with that, and I've been busy. This eye is actually way down here. I left space for it up there. My brain's not translating the size relationships here very well this morning. Not a surprise. Um, but it would be a fun thing, so I've got to focus on that. And some other fun things. I have another art show, my last one for the season coming up in New Hope, um, the last weekend of the month. So I have to get ready for that. And um, I love going to New Hope. That'll be fun. And then I have my workshop coming up. And before that, I'm going to have my artwork at my favorite gallery here in Lancaster. Um, October 4th weekend, which is my birthday weekend. So I'm excited to do that. So I have to submit to them the paintings that I'm thinking of <clears throat> today. Shape's a little wonky there, isn't it? I think I just need to get this a little more weight down here and put in this little, I'm going to pull that forward. I'm going to put another piece of board behind here. Sometimes this ledge is a little too um, deep and then I can't get, get my paint where I want it. That's much better. And this goes. sit on there. I don't know what that's another branch back there. I think I'm going to leave that out. The colors are fun, aren't they? <clears throat> so this crazy life of me trying to be an artist. I did something really stupid yesterday. We were going to plan my mother-in-law's 90th birthday at a restaurant in the city here and um, I met my husband right after work <clears throat> and left a meeting at my office ran in there and without thinking um, I had the box like the oops sorry ski box on top of my car because that's how we transport like the tent when we go places and we didn't get a chance to take it off <clears throat> and I drove in the parking lot with the ski box on the car and I heard this like screech sound, and I thought, oh, no. Do you guys ever do stupid th I do so many stupid things that it's frightening. It really is scary. I'm absent-minded sometimes, and I work so hard at not being absent-minded, but... Bye, Mom, love you. I love you as Bob. Good day. See you at the meet. Um... That look right. I don't know if I have the eyes in the right place. Um, yeah, so I guess what I'm saying is I do a lot of stupid things. Um, maybe it's just that the one eye is too big. <laughs> I can't relate. My mom, I'm so absent minded. 
And I really, 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 really try with all of my heart to like dot my I's and cross my T's and pay attention to all the details, but there are just so many details to pay attention to that, that, you know, when I left my office, I thought, oh, you know, there were people, my friends at my clients in my parking lot, and I'm thinking, oh gosh, my driving off in this, my nerdy van, not that anybody really cares, but the big box on top and don't I forget by the time I drive 20 minutes that I have the big box on top yikes anyway long story short um my husband was ready for the meeting with the with the gal at the restaurant and he came out and just took the box off and put it inside the car and really it could have been much worse like he said I am when you called me I envisioned you wedged like and under the entrance to the garage and everybody stuck behind you not being able to get in. And fortunately, that's not what happens so though. I was in the garage, but had he not been there, I don't think I could have even gotten that box off of there. Ugh. Anyway, it's over now. Could have been much worse, right? There are much worse things that can happen in a day. I think his shape's good. Hi, Noor. <clears throat> you know what that color looks like that. Um, <clears throat> really pretty. Uh, let me see if I can find it. My next here. <clears throat> so today, sometime. I have to run and pick up. I drove it with bikes on top of the. Oh, Nancy, I would tell I, that would be even worse because, like, my husband's bike's like a big deal. And he would he'd be so angry if I did that. Oh my God. That's true. It could be worse. It was just that. And that thing that was on top of the car, we've had that like 100 years, but it didn't even mess it up. I'm looking for my Caribbean blue because I definitely think that's some Caribbean blue. Now, do you think that I've lost it? Um, I actually think I have two of that same color. So I have, oh my gosh, you can't find it. What's this? This looks kind of like a fun color. I have lots of colors because I, can you hear me? I should probably put a microphone on when I have to talk. Okay, no Caribbean blue. And then I just figured that's meant to be because who knows. So I have all my colors. This is as organized as I get. Like I have my yellows, my blues, my reds in this bucket, greens in here. I have my Charvin paints over here because I'm trying to keep track. This is the mess of paints that I'm currently playing with. And then I have an entire thing over here, isn't that cool, um, with bins of color that like are just kind of odd colors. So if I'm trying to mix something and I just can't get it, <clears throat> that's where I head. But I still haven't stopped looking for... There's Imperial Green, that's kind of a fun Charvin color. Um, gosh, what did I do with that? Is it right beside me here? And it's a little nondescript, the little tube that it's in. Like here's one, like look at this well-loved tube of paint. And that's the Caribbean Blue. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's like nothing in there. The bin on wheels is pretty cool, isn't it? I got that at at home goods, believe it or not. <clears throat> My husband found it when we were in there walking around, like, and it's perfect. And it's, it, you know, has some character. When I have my fancy studio someday, it'll look great in there. <laughs> okay, this is what, uh, that's what we're talking about. I need a little bit of that color. I do love the Caribbean blue. Let's put some down here. Okay. I think 
that tail is too long, but I can fix that later too. All right, now I can go in with my really fun um, Yes, yeah, so was I saying I'm gonna, I have to go pick up the proofs for my um, calendar today. They're ready to, to go. So I go to the printer and I had everyone vote on whether they liked number one or number two of my cover options, which I could have made easily made 30, but um, I think, oh, who makes Caribbean Blue? Let me see. That is, you know I lost it. Uh, I should know that answer. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Do you see it right here in this line? I don't know what I did with it. See? I'm absent minded. I have it here all my Shirevin paints. Uh, well, I'll have to tell you later because I don't know where I put it. How could I have lost it that quickly? Um. Um, <laughs> it's one of my favorite colors. Oh, Old Holland. Thank you, French Coast Studio. Yeah, I think it's, it is Old Holland. Um, I'm from Iraq. I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, I have no idea what's happening. Oh, I have to go pick up my proofs of my calendar today, which is going to be fun. And get that finished. Um. And then I can um, take take it to a few places around here that I was going to sell it. So I'm excited to see it. You know, it's always scary to do. I've done calendars for years. Always really flowers or birds. But then, you know, you do something different. It's fun to change it up. And I love to do something different. But then I think, oh, what if nobody even wants one? What if I don't sell any of them? What would be the worst thing? You know, it's not really that big of a deal, but <laughs> I guess uh, confidence-wise, maybe it is. I'll put a little bit of this. Ooh, there's a new color I got. Cobalt teal. I didn't used to like teal Oof. very much, but it's growing on me. I don't know why. It must be maybe more in style, or maybe I see it more. I'll put a little bit in there just because it's fun. Helen wants, oh, good, wonderful. Oh, Ren, Ren Mitch said, what, what am I using? These are called, um, I'm not, I want to use here. I got a bunch of gold iridescent. They're called RNF pigment sticks. They're also on my list of all my favorite art supplies. You can get it on, if you go to my website to kimmyerssmith.com. At the bottom, there's a little thing where you can sign up and get the PDF of my favorite colors. <clears throat> Love that gold. I bought a few of these. Need them for my workshop too. And then I'll list another workshop soon. I have to um, see how it works doing it in New Hope in that space, and I might do it there again. Um, it's just beautiful there. And most people who are coming are coming for, for two days. I have a couple people coming for one day, which is totally fine. Um, but then I was thinking maybe if I do it in New Hope, maybe in the spring, I'll just do a two-day workshop and just have it only be two days. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I know it's harder to get away for two days, but, you know, I think you make more progress and, and build more friendships, too. I love how that like mixes in. I do too, Ellen. I think the Lancaster barn's busy in the spring. I asked my friend about it and she actually has two beautiful barns and I think her, her niece is staying in one of them and she's also rented out the other one. So I don't have that space. 
at least for the spring. I was going to ask her about it. Um, she was at the race that I was like the co-chair of this past weekend. And Jackie was there, but I didn't get to talk to her. That's enough. I wonder if I need a little bit of some fun color in the background. Why not? Let's do. There's another new color. I got cadmium. Cadmium green pale. Let's put a little bit of this in the background. It just kind of makes it wet, wet and gives you something to work into. I think that's a fun beginning. Now my goal is to let some of that fun, crazy pigmented color shine through in the end because that's, that's one of the things that helps a painting to glow a little bit is letting that pigment shine through. start overworking it and I don't want to do that. It's big for me. And did I show you this? Is, it's sideways, but this is a commission painting that I've been working on. Love pun. I'm loving it. <clears throat> okay. Palette. And I'm ready to mix. Everybody want to say where you're from? What other things could we talk about? Does anybody have any questions for me? He looks great. Very textured. Yes, I love the texture. I like that. I need a sip of coffee. Sorry about that. Okay, so I need some blues, cool and warm, some reds, orange, cool, warm, and dark, something fun for the background, and a dark, dark, kind of for underneath the, um, that's Caribbean blue that I grabbed there, that's fine, for my dark, darks. <clears throat> It's nice, really dark, dark. I'm gonna run you with a little of this to see. That looks like, can you see? You know what? Is this, well, it's dark. I think that's why you can't really see it. I need to work on my lighting, don't I? Nova Scotia, wow. Chester, Nova Scotia. Oh, look at that wonderful color. Add a little bit into here. Arlington, Texas. Amazing how far you are. I know. It is so neat. People are so from so far away. I love that. Makes the world so small. I I don't go very many places. <clears throat> but I hope to someday. Who wants to go travel with me and go somewhere and paint? I would love to do one of those painting trips. I have to figure out how to make it happen. Who wants to go? Anybody want to go with me to France or Italy or somewhere fun to paint. That's nice. Nice blue. They're very different. Ellen would join me. Yay. All right, let's figure it out. I'm in. Oh, 
right that's so really like that looks a little I like to have um, what am I saying here I've been playing around with having a little bit more of neutral um a neutral gray kind of and he has some of that in him so I'm gonna See if I can get this blue to go just a little more gray. So to do that, I guess I would take away the pigment, or is that the right term for it? And add a little bit. What's the opposite blue on the color wheel? I guess it's yellow, but then isn't it gonna go green? I guess that color is a little bit green. I'm just gonna touch. Yeah, that did make it more neutral, didn't it? That's a good, good neutral blue. Orange. Oh, that's my problem. I need orange, don't I? <clears throat> you are so right. Good morning, Lou. How are you? I know I have orange here somewhere. But we're not going to look for it right now. All right, so I like those blues. Now I need some orangey reds. Or, <laughs> yep. So I could have added in this Indian yellow. So this Indian yellow, when I'm trying to make my Charvin paints work, Indian yellow is like one of my absolute favorite colors from Vasari because it's buttery and gorgeous. And there's nothing quite like it. I haven't found any other like Indian yellows that are as amazing and Vasari paints are amazing put a little white in there I always try not to clean my <laughs> thanks Lou <clears throat> I just need votes of confidence they're all fun colors aren't they um, my background, I think I'm going to do a little green in it, maybe. That's nice. And this is another Vasari that I love, the Video Blue Extra Pale. Sorry, I was listening. My phone was ringing and my landline and a friend of mine is in the hospital. And I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a call about that. <clears throat> I think that's a good start. What do you think? All right. So I'm going to turn it back around. Good. Okay. So now my goal is like clean. Confident, oh, intentional is the word I want to use, brush strokes. It's crazy that I have to remind myself of that, but I do. Um, it's just too cute. Now I should work around his face and go in there and work on those eyes a little bit in the beginning so that um, so I kind of have confidence that things are placed where they belong. Anything you can do early to, to keep your self-confidence through the process is important. Confidence, I think, is like the most important thing so many things and it's something I'm always working on it doesn't come naturally to me
fun colors. Happy colors. So we always we have a little neighbor down the street. Her name's Emerson. And um, all summer long we've been going. She's three, and we've been going out to for ice cream usually about once a week all summer. And we try to find fun places we've never been. Um, and and with her mom and dad, and and actually, yeah, my daughter Emily is very good friends with them also. So we all went, Emily and Isabel and Mike and I with Emerson for ice cream last night. And I'll tell you, being around a three-year-old just cheers you up so much that it's it's amazing. It's truly amazing. I mean, not that I was in a terrible mood or anything, but it just, she just, I was just thinking about it when we were sitting eating ice cream, how much she lightens my spirit to be around her. All right, this is a little small. My palette is kind of in the way of where I usually rest my elbow. That eye looks a little big, doesn't it? It's a little darker over here. <clears throat> hmm. Can't quite get where I need to be. Make that eye a little smaller. It's so cute. Um. Eyelashes are here a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. I can't read. Now, wait, let me. I gotta move my palette out of the way a little bit. Sounds crazy, but I gotta get my elbow in here. Now I have a little fuzzy or something on my. Sorry. This is like the only time, see I have a little, can you see that I have a little piece on my brush that shouldn't be there, a little uh, hair. Little eyes look okay. Um, that's close. At least I know that I'm headed in the right direction there. Oh, the size of my brush, Nancy. It's a Rosemary and Company Eclipse Short Flat Number 12. It's like my current very, very, very favorite brush. Um, yeah, that's a nice brush. That's a little 
little too bright right there. Do you have, do you paint the side of your canvas? Oh, well, I usually do. This one, this is a flat one. This isn't a, a fat canvas. See, it's flat. Um, I usually paint, here they are. There's a few that I've been playing. So I usually paint the sides gold. And then this particular one, this is a different kind that I had gotten from Jerry's. It's a little less expensive. And I could tell you what it's called if you want to know, but it's not the ampersand boards. <clears throat> I like the back of it. It's really nice. I like all this wood part, but the front's super, super smooth, too smooth. So I do two coats of gesso and then do the sides in gold. So I should have painted on that this morning. Maybe next week I'll do Charvin's and I'll paint on one of those boards to experiment. They also gave me some brushes to try, but they're they're very different than than what I like to paint with. They're, um, what are they? I was having some trouble with them. <clears throat> Not that I won't try again, but gosh, I don't know where they are right now. How do I lose paintbrushes? <laughs> Anybody have fun plans today other than work? <clears throat> fun going on. Is anybody going to be painting outside today? It's going to be a nice day. I'm putting in that watching your pain is a great. Oh, thank you, Ellen. And Nancy says, WW and breakfast out. What's WW? I should know that, shouldn't I? Breakfast out sounds painting inside still too hot in Texas. Well, that's nice. Enjoy it. I guess it never does get cold there. I feel like our weather's definitely changing here. I got to paint yesterday, but today will be work and chores, unfortunately. Yes, I should run up and switch the laundry. Um... Let's see. I have two chores. Going to the fun town of Frankenmirth in Missouri with a friend for lunch and shopping. Jackie, that sounds amazing. Nancy Weight Watchers, that sounds fun too. How long does it take to do that? To go to Weight Watchers. I love Weight Watchers recipes. They're like my favorite. I have a few magazines of Weight Watcher recipes and I use them more than anything else. Oh, plein air at 10. Yay. Getting ready for a three-day bike ride. Oh, that's so fun. Where are you riding your bike? Swatching my watercolors. Oh, my gosh. That sounds like fun, too. What does that mean? Like, like making little squares and filling them in so you know all your colors? Oh, my gosh. That sounds like fun. We just did a bike ride on Sunday. Um, we have some beautiful trails here and every now and then. We take our bikes and ride the trail and stop for a drink and lunch somewhere along the way. And I love it. And But this was the first time we went the entire year. Isn't that crazy? I don't know how the summer goes so fast. Now, I don't really want this smooth back here, and somehow I'm overworking it. But um, I don't know what to do with that right now. It's watching my watercolors. I would love to swatch the watercolors. Rails to Trails on the Mickelson Trail in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Oh, that sounds so fun. 
Three days biking in fall weather is perfect. Yeah, it sounds perfect. And my husband loves to ride bike. They did. My husband's on the last few years with friends. They do the Apple, not the Appalachian Trail. The, um, oh my gosh, why can't I remember what it's called now? Honest Pete. They do um, Front Royal is where they start. They ride. I've done the whole long one and the short one. I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, yes, I've never done that. And swatching the colors helps me learn so much about them and how they react. Yep. Uh, well, I have a whole, like, little thing uh, that I, I want to do that with oil paints. And whenever I have, like, a very favorite color that I never want to forget how to mix. And do you think I've done this? But I have. Well, here's my little... My little gridded sheet. It's a huge tablet, and I have it all gridded out to do that. But I don't have one color on there yet. I need to, like, hang it up here near myself. And, like, some of these colors that I mixed today that are really fun, I would love to write it down on this ride nearly 25 years. That's wonderful. That sounds like so much fun. It feels good to be on a bike, doesn't it? I'm down Saturday. And then where do you stay along the way? Do you stay, are there little like like places to stay, like bed and breakfast, or to camp? <clears throat> some light happening right here. Kind of fun colors, aren't they? One night in Custer at a hotel, but I live so close I go home. Well, that's nice. That's even better because then you really get a good night's sleep too. Fun colors. colors even in the background aren't they yeah I'm happy with the colors just been having fun with greens and teals and I've been rethinking some of my own corporate colors as I was working on my calendar um, I was thinking I need to kind of update my own corporate colors now I have to do a commission of a black cat. And it's someone that I met at <clears throat> the last art show I was at. And she asked me to do this commission for her. Black cats are so hard to paint because they're just oh so black. And there's so little going on that to do. <clears throat> and where do I get my reference <clears throat> photos? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a gentleman in my town who um, takes pictures of birds all the time and he lets me use his photos as reference so that's where this bird came from he must live here in my town this sweet blue bird it really is something to like look I'm looking at my color values at what you were looking at not what I'm looking at and I need to go a lot darker in here to have it look more dimensional
like blue down here lose some of that fun color popping through because his real foot's going all the way down there this is a soft edge down here at the bottom <clears throat> and it's hard keeping the brush clean like when I'm in a dark like that dark blue color and then I um, want to go to a lighter color I have to really clean it up <clears throat> okay. I need he actually has foot here that you can barely see. And here. What do we think? Mm. I'm going to need some more paper towels. I think that um, Nancy, you're exercising and watching. That's productive. That's the thing I cut out when I do this. That's bad. Exercising, I need to do that more. More bike rides, less painting. And I don't know if that'll happen. <laughs> it's kind of a sharper edge. So I'm kind of carving out his tail a little bit. It was too, too dominant or something. I don't know what it was. All right. the part when I always get really quiet don't I <clears throat> what subject matter is your best seller your flowers um uh, I don't know I feel like I could I wish I could actually honestly figure that out I think I have different audiences depending where I'm selling when I'm at art shows I think I probably sell birds the most Although flowers too, but like my smaller paintings, the birds tend to send, sell first. Um, and I know that mostly because I don't have very many birds. I always feel like I need to paint more birds. 
I've never tried painting a really big bird, which I think would be super fun. Ooh, I like the bright greenish color. Okay, now I should go back into these eyes a little bit <clears throat> to uh, show I'm happy with them. that help <clears throat> now what else do I need to do does he look dimensional do I have any weird pieces of background showing through um, is the background boring do you think I should like give it more texture or maybe I should um, or could do something whimsical like polka dots, but it's a big space to do that, I think. I'm painting bird Christmas ornaments for an upcoming workshop today, so this is definitely inspiring me. Thanks. Oh, that sounds like fun. That's what I need to paint more. Um, I actually thought about doing one today, some more snowmen. I painted snowmen last year. <clears throat> and it was so much fun, and I want to paint some. I have my work at a, a cute little shop nearby in York, and I want to take some birds in there, or I mean some snowmen. So I'd better get painting them. Um, do you think my left side's dark enough? I think so. Do I need light lights? I like, see that's a little kind of modely, like there's a lot of fun little things happening. I'll show you up close a little bit. Can you see that better? So I'm looking at it while you are too to see if there's anything. I think I need a little, um... oh, what about his nose? Gosh. How could I forget that very important part? His little nose, I gotta do something with that. He doesn't have a nose. That's crazy. I forgot all about it. You wouldn't be able to smell anything. Well, that's just I almost completely forgot that. And I like that there's a little bit of lightness coming right here. That gives a little more definition. Is that better? That's better. Oops. 
Oops, that let in his little eye a little bit. All right. Okay. I think he looks good. Does he need a kiss of anything? Um, maybe just a little, a little more light right here. Oh, time's going to run out, so that means I'm finished. Love how that works. All right, I'm going to sign my name here if I can get the right angle. And I think I'm finished. So there, there's a sweet bird. Any ideas for names for him? Let me know if you have any ideas. There's my palette, my messy palette. I'm so glad you guys came to watch today. Um, it was fun hanging out with you, and I'll see you again next week. Have a great day. Bye.